Lisa has been around for 50 years. 50 years of love. 50 years of laughter. 50 years of friendship. And 50 years of memories. We asked Dr. Lipson, who was here in the 1980s, about the school back then. Well, good morning to you, Michaela. I'm Dr. Joan Lucid, and I am the superintendent of the Saugus Union School District. What is one of the biggest changes that have happened over the years in Skyblue? Oh, my goodness. I taught at Skyblue my very, very first year in the Saugus Union School District, and it was 1981. So this makes my 36th year in the Saugus Union School District. When I taught here, I taught a kindergarten first grade, I had 30 students because that's what we had in the elementary, in the very primary grades when I was teaching. And there were no bungalows on this campus at all, only the three standard buildings. And it was just a great big field. How long have you worked here for the school? For Saugus Union School District for 36 years, but I was at the school for five years. at Skyview Mesa. Yes, I am. What is one of the biggest changes that have happened over the years in the school? Well, I think one of the biggest changes that happened in the school are the new buildings. We have a new two-story building and the new multi-purpose room and the new kitchen. And I think our multi-purpose room is one of the most beautiful in the district. How long have you worked for the school and how long have you worked for the district? I've been here for four years and I've been in the district 31 years. I would just like to say I loved my four years here, and I'm so glad to be here to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Sky Blue. Happy anniversary, Sky Blue. Thank you, Mr. Gozian. You're welcome. The 60s were hot and cool. You guessed it, there were a lot of afros in Sky Blue. The styles were cool and hot at the same time. Party people! Probably have to say Mrs. Copeland because there are so many, so many wonderful memories. I remember when we were remodeled, when we had the school remodeled because it turned 35 years, and that was huge because we all had to move out out of our rooms and pack everything up and then move everything back in before school started the next year. So. How did you know that Skyview was your home? Well, again, I think it goes to the people. I mean, I love. I love the families here. I love the support we feel from our families. Um, and I love the family feel of all of the teachers and all of the staff. We can't do what we do without each other. Okay, thank That's you. That's what Ms. I love Smith. about it. Another one of Sky Blue's sixth grade teachers is Miss Covert Hines. What grade levels have you taught? I did a fourth over at Rio Vista, and here I have done five, six splits and a sixth grade, but I'm most comfortable at the sixth grade. How did you know Sky Blue was your home? <laughs> I came over here one time, I think as a substitute, maybe to be interviewed, 
and our principal, Janet Weiss, was dressed in a big princess costume because it was Halloween, and she had a full-on princess costume with a wand and a, and a um, crown, and I thought, good, so they like to be a little silly, they'll do that. And when I went into the staff room, Mrs. Thompson was on the staff, she was Miss Catronia there, and there were some others, and I sat down and they included me in their conversation, and um, I felt right at home, always. And I always felt like this has been a family. Do you have anything else to say? Just that I don't think I would ever leave Sky Blue. It's part of my family. It's a nice school. I think that because we're kind of small and we all um, have the similar approach, the staff all agrees, I think that the kids do well with us and um, they make us happy. Thank you, Ms. Coverhead, for your Thank time. You. Now, we're going from a teacher's perspective to a student's perspective. Who was your sixth grade teacher? My sixth grade teacher was Miss Coverheim. I had her twice. Who was your first grade teacher? My first grade teacher was Miss Terciano. Uh, yeah, yeah, Miss Terciano. The biggest change I would say is well, one, the NPR when I was going here, and the two-story building that wasn't here either. Uh, that was being built when I was in sixth grade. And I, oh, I remember I wanted to go in there so badly, and I still have never been up there to this day. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way. Remember the white and blue.